What's up everyone, it's Gunplug Collection here and today I will be doing a review on this P. Van Dyke kit um, or Expo kit which is the Clear Trans Am Real Grade Gundam Exia. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the kit as it's spinning around on the base here. Uh, as you can see everything is clear except for uh, any uh, inner frame parts. Uh, as you can see the GN sword um, it's the blade itself has like a polarized look to it so uh, in some angles you'll see it's like a, a pinkish hue and in another angle you'll see it's like a, a green type of hue to it. Uh, it is a pretty cool uh, thing that Bandai did uh, which I really like and I'm looking forward to seeing the high grade uh, Unicorn Gundam with the polarized uh, inner frame. Uh, I do hope to one day own it, if not win it from the mid-year campaign. Uh, but I digress and this is uh, how the kit looks. I did put um, some decals on it and I just have to say it looks uh, absolutely amazing. I love clear kits so uh, this is a great kit to add to uh, a collection uh, if you're planning on collecting clear kits or any exclusives. Um, so with that we'll go ahead and take a look at the articulation and everything. It should be the same as uh, the real grade normal release of the uh, Exia Gundam itself uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, and let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, the normal release of the Gundam Exia along with uh, the Expo Premium Bandai release of uh, the Clear Trans Am version. So, as you can see, the color differences, uh, it's pretty much there. Uh, normal colors are just the normal Gundam uh, blue, yellow, white, and red. Um, for this one, you can see that the blades itself, uh, they're like a chrome, um, chrome plated parts, so it makes it look really nice. I like the chrome plated parts itself, uh, but for the uh, Trans Am version, uh, the blades, like I said, they are polarized, so it does make a lot of sense for it to be polarized since, uh, it adds like a, a nice like GN particle uh, around uh, the blade itself. So uh, with that, I mean, these are great real grade kits. Uh, I would definitely go out and grab all the uh, real grade double O kits there are. All right, as for articulation. All right, so since it is a clear kit, it is going to be a little bit harder to see. Uh, the head itself, uh, it wiggles a little bit side to side, uh, up and down just a slight bit. Uh, will turn. I just have to be very careful with that. Um, will turn 360 maybe. No, so it won't turn a 360 for me. Um, with clear kits, uh, keep in mind the plastic is going to be uh, very different from uh, the normal releases since uh, it is a lot, um, a lot more, I, I want to say like uh, rougher, well not really rougher but like it doesn't have that smooth feeling to it so uh, the joints will be a little harder to come by to uh, like move around. And as for the arm, uh, as you can see there's like a little wiggle movement here. Uh, this is as much as it goes before the shoulder wants to pop off. Uh, shoulders can move up and down ever so slightly. Uh, we'll be able to turn 360 like that. Uh, let me go ahead and use this arm here. Uh, bend at the elbow. like so, that's pretty nice. Um, the hands, they wiggle since they're on the ball joint, um, and they do spin as well, which is nice. Um, 
One thing to note as well, when you build the kit, uh, there are some really tiny parts to it, so just be very careful uh, not to break any of these tiny clear parts or else uh, you're going to have trouble with that. Uh, I did break a part, but uh, thank God it was in here, so one of the pieces saved it. And as for the waist, uh, there is some ab crunch movement. This way and that way. Uh, it will turn. I just don't really want to turn this kit too much um, before these blade handles want to collide with the chest. Um, as for that side skirts, uh, there are none. Just these blades here. Uh, front skirt, they move up and down. Um, just really hard to get that going. But they do move up and down. There we go. So, up and down movement. Put that back. Back skirt, same thing. It has the up and down movement as well. Uh, same with the beam saber handle. Uh, they move up and down. Uh, back skirts will move a little bit outwards, like probably that much. As for the leg articulation, uh, it will move uh, up. You just need to carefully bring that up. It's going to move up about that much because of the blade here, but if you take the blade off, uh, it moves about probably the same, like that much, because uh, this part right here, the armor, uh, it collides with uh, the front skirt. Um, as for back, um, all right, so moving the leg back, same, same deal, um, back skirt collides with uh, the armor on the leg, so you don't get much movement. Uh, Split-wise, this is as far as it goes. So before these two little pegs uh, will uh, collide with the body itself. Uh, the leg at the knee, uh, the bend, uh, it's not too bad. You almost get like a 180, I would say. Almost, not quite. The same with the normal release of the Exia. Um, this little shin guard or like uh, Achilles heel guard moves up and down. Uh, the little knee armor up and down as well. Uh, the feet, they will uh, point about that much. Um, they will bend forward about that much. Uh, they will, sp uh, the foot will spin and move side to side as well. Uh, the, this part right here, the um, ankle guards, they flap up and down pretty nicely. The GN um, condensers here, uh, you can actually pop it out. I probably don't remember how to do this. I think like you have to pull something down. There's like a mechanism to this. I don't remember, but you can pull it out or you can um, kind of like pull that out a little bit. You can see that clear green. Um, yeah, I don't remember how to do most of the transformation on that. And we have a part that fell. So I don't rem oh, okay. So it's here. As for the shield, uh, there's something neat about the shield, uh, not just the color itself. Um, you can pop this off and move it up or down depending on how you like it. Uh, so right now, it's, as you can see, it's uneven because this one is moved up. You can see more of that uh, inner frame here compared to uh, when it's moved down. Uh, it covers the inner frame here, but it shows that frame up there. Um, so it's kind of like the Destiny Gundam or uh, the Force Impulse uh, shield itself, how uh, it opens up and shows like the interior of the shield. 
for uh, the blades itself, you can see that it is like a um, polarized blade. Yeah, it doesn't show too well. Right now it's like, a, well under the light I'm seeing with my eyes, it's like um, almost like a gunmetal green color. Uh, on camera, it kind of looks like it's purple. Uh, so you get two of them. Uh, of course, you have the long, long blade and the short blade. And um, the clear parts, they look really nice. I do enjoy looking at them. As for the GN sword, uh, you can see the blade as well, polarized, except for um, this part here. Uh, it's like a... I want to say it almost has a pink hue to it, even though it's like a gray color. Uh, one nice thing about this is that um, it does hold pretty nicely uh, in the arm. So you don't get much like uh, the issues with the uh, high grade version. And when spun out, it actually looks pretty nice. like. It's a long blade. I think the only issue I have with it is um, making sure that it stays in place because uh, this part tends to want to come out. And as for accessories, they give uh, the normal real great hands here, as you can see. Uh, some open, open hands and then the normal closed fists. And they gave two of them. Uh, they also give some uh, holding hands as well. So I'm currently using this one to hold like a beam saber. Uh, as you can see, this is the beam effect part as well. Uh, so you get two different ones. You get the long beam effect and you also get the short one right here. And these are from uh, leftovers of my uh, custom build. Uh, Gundam Exia Repair 3, uh, right? But other than that, um, I really like this kit. It's a great addition to uh, the Exia family itself. I do recommend it. All right, now as for uh, what I think about this kit, uh, definitely go ahead and pick this one up if you're um, trying to collect some exclusive or you just love clear kits. Uh, as you can see, uh, both these kits are real great Exeas. I didn't do anything else to it. Um, one of them has uh, the decals applied, which is the Trans Am, and the other one has no decal. It still looks nice, even though it's completely straight build. Um, one thing I forgot to mention as well, uh, when you uh, build the Trans Am Exea, you also get uh, a little tiny figurine. They're clear as well, which look really nice compared to a uh, completely white uh, figurine right there. Uh, they are uh, 1 to 144 scale, which is awesome. Uh, other than that, the accessories are the same. There's really no difference other than the color and uh, the plastic quality itself. I do know that they are re-releasing uh, these kits, uh, the clear real grade kits itself. So uh, if possible go ahead and get one uh, it will be a nice addition especially if you have all three of them lined up one next to each other uh, doing a dynamic pose of some sort i would give it my approval grab this kit if possible it is one amazing kit Alrighty. other than that i will see you guys next time happy building guys